will praise your name, I will praise your name When times of need carry on I will praise your name, I will praise your name Hallelujah. Let Lord Jesus Christ shine forth. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are joining us. Welcome to another live stream with DCCI Ministries. Hope everyone had lovely weekend and new day and hopefully we are longing for another new day. <laughs> uh, so what we are going to do tonight is we will be talking about the perfect preservation of the Quran under two missing chapters of the Quran. Uh, looking and going through some of the early Islamic sources. To do that, I do have on the line Brother Jai Apologetics and Daughter of Christ. Um, peace of Christ be with you, brother. 
Hey, sister, Hatun, sister, daughter of Christ, God bless you both. God bless all of the viewers. Uh, thank you for having me with you today. Um, how are you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm doing great by God's grace. I am uh, excited for our topic today. I think it will be a really interesting one and hopefully some new information for people. Okay, and have you fixed your drunk computer? It's it's like 99% fixed. <laughs> Sometimes there's like a relapse, you know, it, it goes back. To, uh, but yeah, oh no, it, it's it's mostly fixed. Praise God. Thank God for that. Okay, good. Um, beloved, peace of Christ be with you. Hello, sister. Uh, peace of Christ be with uh, you, sister and brother Jai. We prayed for that uh, laptop, brother, <laughs> earnestly. <laughs> so I'm glad to hear that uh, it got it sobered up. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, praise, uh, praise God. How are you doing, sister? I'm well, sister. I'm back from work. I don't like this time of year, Hattie. Why? Uh, because it's cold and dark and Christmas time is coming. And I don't like Christmas time. Me uh, Yeah. So, <laughs> so, for wow. us, every day is Christmas. For us, every day, every day is Christmas. So, um, but Brother Jai feels differently. He, like, he loves Christmas. So yeah. sorry. You do? Yeah, I love. Sorry. I love. Uh, you know, right now we're in we're in the Advent season, awaiting Christmas. I I, I love I love Christmas. Uh, but yeah, maybe that's a topic for another uh, stream. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um. For me, every day is Christmas. I love the theology of Christmas. It's amazing that Father gives His Son to us as a gift. But for what the things, I think Christmas is not my favorite time of the year. Anyway. Um. So. What I have done is, because I'm a very good person, I put in the chat, I pinned the link for um, people to call in to the live stream, as well as same link in the description if anyone wants to call in. In the topic which we are discussing, though, we are going to talk about um, certain chapters which were in earliest Qurans. Um, that's what Islamic tradition tells us, but something magical happened Today, they are not in a Muslim, Quran of Muslims, even not, not um, in the 37 different Arabic Qurans. So we will be talking through that. If you want to contribute, debunk um, question um, or whatever you will want to do with that topic, um, you can use the link to call in. You are very much encouraged to do so. It's easier for us if you call in instead of just uh, make your case in the chat because by the time... I speak, you get to hear me 20 seconds after I speak, and by the time you type, I get to see that late, and then argument kind of just loses, it's, um, it's kind of, what is it? Yeah, you, you, you lose the argument in one point from the um, 20 second um, time difference. So therefore, you are gently encouraged to call in, and um, Dear moderators, thank you very much for being with us and serving us. Um, very, very grateful for that. Just um, just want to gently encourage you to uh, make sure you kind of don't copy and paste the same thing again and again. And please don't take 37 different Arabic crowns as an example as he copies and pastes rules. That's just a couple of times he will be doing that through live stream. Um, so we don't want people to abuse the chat. Um, that means don't copy and paste the same message again and again. It's not helpful to anyone. Do not share anyone's personal information that always can end up in wrong hands. And um, we gently encourage you to kind of um, keep the conversations in the topic. But if there is something seriously affecting your eternity, um, um, you, can, you, can do the, you can do that as well bring up that topic but it is like really really affecting your return at that moment okay um so jai i was told last week the quran we are reading is dot by dot that was just last week okay dot by dot letter by letter sound by sound exactly the same what it was revealed to muhammad and um, according right. to the Islamic That's tradition... That's what they say, yeah. That's what they say. Yeah, but I thought, like, they moved on from that. They are still saying that. <laughs> so, 
they are still still saying that um so um according to the islamic tradition um first quran is compiled under um, abu bakr and then second quran is compiled under uthman so the quran which muslims kind of would go and check um, is identified as the uthman's quran which we don't have complete copy from 7th century um, as a manuscript. But when we look at the Islamic traditions, Islam, Islamic tradition tells us once Uthman ordered first Quran, uh, Quran to be compiled again, that was because people were failing in the recitation and in memory. Uh, it has been copied, multiplied, and sent it to the different cities. Um, that Quran apparently contains 114 chapters. And then there is someone called Mr. Ubay bin Kaab. Islamic tradition tells us Mr. Ubay bin Kaab, who was uh, one of the best recitation, and someone Muhammad said, take the Quran from, and this is the same gentleman which Muhammad uh, beat him, uh, struck him on the chest when he had doubt regarding the different um, version of the Quran. Uh, Islamic tradition tells us he had 116 chapters in his book. Am I correct? Right, that is correct. And this might come as shocking to a lot of people, maybe more shocking to the Muslims. If you didn't know, your Quran that you hold in your hands today is not identical to the Quran of Obai. Obai, who, as Sister Hatun just said, Muhammad instructed you to take the Quran from. So the Quran that you have in your hands today is not identical to his Quran. In one of the ways, one of the ways, one of the biggest ways is that he had two extra chapters or two surahs that he had in his Quran. Okay, first I'll show the um, surahs and then we go back and then figure out who is this gentleman and what went wrong that we don't have his Quran. Um, beloved, would you like to add anything before I um, show the chapters? Someone asked, uh, where did these two surahs go? Where did they go? Yeah, That's like some verses we know, they're eaten by sheep and that. But what happened to these two surahs? Does any any one of you? Uh, we ju it? we oh. just want to gently encourage them to wait and be patient until the end of live stream. Oh, so we'll find out what happened to them? Yeah. Okay. I, I want to know so. as well. <laughs> I hope so. Because answer is going to be Allah knows best. <laughs> oh, our best is here. <laughs> um, we, can ask, we can ask him what happened to the two surah, surahs of Ubay, Ubay's Quran. What happened to them? Yeah, um, I did actually ask these two chapters yesterday at Speaker's Corner and the um, response I got was it's not in our Quran today. So this is um, the two surahs which we are talking about, surah 115 and 116. Current Quran mm -hmm. finishes surah 114. Um, mm. So here you've got the Arabic and English. But I'll make it nicer for you. I'll put this slide on. This is like much with the transliteration and the translation. This is Surah 100, so 115. Um, anyone wants to read it or? Um, what, what do you say? Uh, if Brother Jai is happy to read one, maybe I can read one. This is brand new to me, <laughs> by the way. Uh, um, I, I think if you... If you uh, if you know the Arabic, you will be able yeah, to recite yeah. because um, yeah. oh no, you are not from Hanifi school. It's okay, sister. Um, okay. I'll, I'll read it. So, so uh, uh, Surat, uh, let's start with Surat Al-Hafad, the haste. Um, it says, Allahumma iyaka na'bud, wa laka nusalli wa nasjud, wa ilayka nasa'a wa nahfud, narju rahmataka wa nakhsha adhabak, inna adhabaka bil kuffari mulhaq. Um, Sounds very Quranic, sister. It rhymes like the short surahs of the Quran. Yeah. Uh, it says, you alone we worship, and to you we pray and lie prostrate, and to you we proceed and have descendants. We fear your torture and hope for your mercy. Truly, your torture will overtake the infidels. Yeah, another lovely, another lovely surah, or sayings of Allah. 
Okay, so this is Surah 115. Let's move to the Surah 116. Um, brother Joy, do you want to read this one, brother? You don't have to read the transliteration if you don't want. Okay, so this is one of the surahs that are, that's found, Surah Al Khala, in Ubay, not just Ubay, by the way, other campaigns, but we'll get into that. And it reads, Lord, for aid and forgiveness do we beseech you, we praise you and do not disbelieve you, we denounce and forsake all who disobey you. And so these were prayed as uh, um, uh, kind of like in, in a way to, uh, what's the word, to pray against people. They were praying against the people, like they would be praying against the Jews, against the Christians, against the pagans. And they were there were prayers kind of like denouncing other people, like praying against people. So th these th these are what these are, you know, considered to be part of. Yeah. So Allah is trying to kind of cause terror in the hearts of <laughs> in the hearts of uh, non-Muslims <laughs> overall. Okay. Uh, so Someone's asking, how can they be new to me? I was a Muslim. Yeah, because they're new to me because they weren't in the Quran. <laughs> they're not in the Quran that I recited. <laughs> That's so the point the, of the yeah, screen. These are not in any Qurans. To, these are not in any Qurans today. So these are, yeah. of course, new uh, to people who don't know about it. Um, in fact, if there are any Muslims, I'd be curious if they knew about these. And you know, maybe we can have some people call in and they can tell us what they think. Why is it that the Quran is different from someone like Ubais? So um, today's Muslims generally don't know. Um, some of the Muslim missionaries might maybe heard of it. Um, as Dot of Christ said, reason is because it is not in this perfect preserved Quran. But it was also well known in um, until around 900s, first couple of centuries of Islam. Magic happened and then in somehow those two chapters end up not being in the Quran. So those two chapters are from Ubay bin Kaab's Quran. Okay, Ubay bin Kaab is one of the uh, companion of Muhammad, which Muhammad said take the, take the Quran from him. Muhammad gave four names, and then one of the names which Muhammad gave in the intention of taking the Quran and learning the Quran uh, was Ubay bin Kaab, and Ubay bin Kaab had extra two surahs in his Quran. Just want to make sure everyone got that. Current Quran mm -hmm. contains 114 chapters, finishes in Surah Nas. Yet Ubay bin Kaab, who died around 664, probably 660s, he had extra two surahs in his Quran. And that those surahs were seen physically around 900s. Okay? Um, here's the hadith, which... Um, Ibn Abbas um, say, Umar said, Ubayi was the best of us in the recitation, yet we live some of what he recites. Ubayi bin Kaab says, people have taken it from the mouth of Allah's apostle and will not live for anything, whatever. And then, of course, you've got this magical, magical verse of like abrogation in here. But yeah, so this guy was like good guy, clever guy, correct? Well, Muhammad thought so, sister. Yeah, so we, we go with what um, what Muhammad says. Muhammad said, take the Quran from this guy's Ubay bin Kaab is in the list. Oh, sorry, maybe Ubay bin Kaab died. Yeah, so Ubay bin Kaab is in the list, yet Muslim Islamic tradition tells us we left some of his recitation. And the recitation they left out is apparently these two surahs. This is one of the examples. Probably there is um, other things as well, but this is one of the examples which they left out. 
Um, so what we will do is we will just go through some of the uh, um, Islamic tradition, what they are saying about it, what happened to those um, chapters, and then if anyone wants to call in and then make a case, why those chapters are not in the Quran. Um, hopefully we will learn something. Anyone wants to add anything at this stage? You know, it was amazing to me, sister. Not only are there two complete different surahs, but they have a name. I know. You know, they have names. You know, names, the surahs are named by Allah. That tells Jibreel. Jibreel tells the names to Muhammad, you know, Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Imran, all these different surahs. So not only, they're not just missing verses, they're whole complete chapters with names and everything. And there's a point, if we go back to the other slide, sister, there's a point to be made with that. The four people that you're to learn the Quran from, when we look at their codices of the Quran, when you look at Abdullah ibn Masood, you find that his Quran contained 111 chapters. Okay. And then we have other people mentioned, but notably Obai, Obai, who doesn't, he, he doesn't, um, so there are five, five disputed surahs okay um and th three of them were you know not recognized or not 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 put in abdullah and masood's quran the two that are in other people's qurans are people like obai and then the other two they 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 take the ones that obai didn't have and the ones that obai does have but they didn't put in the extra two so you have four people there who all have different canons of the quran so how are you supposed to take the Quran from four people? It's like it's like saying this. We're telling you, take a book from me, from Hatun, and from Daughter of Christ. And let's say my book has 50 chapters. Hatun's book has 55 chapters. Daughter's book has 45 chapters. But we're saying, take the book from us. Well, how can you do that when we all have different amounts of chapters? It doesn't make sense. Um, so that's a, that's a problem. Yeah, also yeah, it's not about like um, chapters, for example, if, if it is like just the number of the chapters, you can make a case to say like, oh, Surah 112 is uh, in one book, it's like, let's say 20 verses, in other one it's divided to three chapters. You can even like make a case on that. But in here, we also have like those surahs, like in this version, just like forget 115, 116, but in it is this current written version, those verses are not in the Quran. Like it didn't mix with another chapter or anything. It's supposed to be at the end of the Quran and it is not there. Right, yeah. So we're not talking about how many words are in each yeah. chapter. We're saying the chapters, not, not disputing the count, the word count. We're saying that there are additional chapters with additional words and missing chapters with missing words. And we're telling you, hey, take our book. How can you do that when we all have different books? They all have different content in them in terms of, you know, mine has more content than daughters, but it has less content than her tunes, for example. How, how, can that, how can that be? How can someone tell you to take from our book as if we have one book that we all agree upon, which we don't, Right. In this analogy, we don't. So likewise with the Quran, he's telling you to learn the Quran from four people, but all four of them, or let's say, let's say there's three different Qurans, at least three different Qurans between all four of them. Yeah. So, so you've got, yeah. you've got Zaid bin Tabit. That's the kind of so-called where the current Quran comes from. 114 chapters. You've got Ubay bin Kaab had 116 chapters. You've got Ibn Masud had 111 chapters. So Ibn Masud didn't have, so Surah, Jai said like there are four chap, five chapters were kind of not sure like, oh, should they edit or what? So you've got Surah Fatiha, that's Surah, Surah 1, which Muslims recite 17 times a day if they do their five five prayers surah surah 1 surah 113 114 115 116 those are the five chapters which early muslims whom muhammad said or oh, take the quran from were disputing regarding if this is the part of the quran or not surah 1 113 114 
and like those three chapters are in current Quran, Surah 115 and 116. Right. And this also gets us to another problem. I mean, maybe we should wait for a Muslim to, to call in before we bring this point up or maybe before we elaborate on it. But if these two chapters are not actually the Quran, they're not actually the Quran, in light of everything that we're going to present, it's not just Ubay, it's multiple companions who accept this to be part of Allah's revelation through Muhammad, part of the Quran, in their codices of the Quran. If they're actually not part of the Quran, but you have multiple Sahaba who accept it to be part of the Quran, then you're faced with this challenge of, you know, the Quran over and over says to produce something like it, right? Yeah. Produce something like it. Well, if these aren't part of the Quran, then the challenge has been met. So someone not only like produced something like it, but they did twice. <laughs> yeah, they did it twice. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, if you've got, I can't see the chat now, but if we've got um, any Muslims who wants to call in and then explain this to us, um, please use the link which is pinned in the chat to do so. Um, let's go to um, early Islamic sources and then see how did they discuss um, regarding what did they say about regarding these two chapters. Okay. Mm. No, this one. Let's start from this one. So, Al Suyuti, um, daughter of Christ, thank you very much for translating this um, to English for us. It's okay, sister. Since you translate it, I guess you read it. Yeah. Like yeah. Kind of who, com who comes up with the idea, does it? So, uh, Suyuti, this is the Durul Mansur, volume 8, page 695, the online version. Uh, it says the mention of what came in Surah Al Khala and Surah Al Hafad, Ibn Daris in his book Al Fadail. It was told to us by Musa ibn Ismail. Hamad told us we read in the Mus'haf of Ubay ibn Kaab. O oh Allah, we seek help and forgiveness from you. We praise you with goodness. We do not disbelieve in you. We disown and leave whoever rejects you. Hamad said this is now a surah. And I think he said, O oh Allah, we worship you, we pray and prostrate to you, and seek you earnestly. We hope for your mercy and fear your torture. Indeed, your torture before the disbelievers. Uh, none of these verses are in the Quran today, sister. So in, it says, and in the Mus'haf of Hajr, he says, O oh Allah, we seek help from you. And in the Mus'haf of Ibn Abbas is the reading of Ubay and Ibn Musa, and Abi Musa, sorry. O oh Allah, we pray and prostrate to you and seek you earnestly. We fear your torture and hope for your mercy. Indeed, your torture will befall the disbelievers. Anas said, By Allah, they, meaning the two, were sent down from none other than from heaven. Okay. So um, I will kind of let us to comment a little bit later because we've got someone on the line. Um, sorry. Uh, let me just change this. Um, dear guest, can you unmute yourself, please? So we've got someone on the line. From my screen, you muted yourself. Can you please unmute yourself? That's okay. I won't put your um, picture on it if that is the issue. If you just unmute yourself. Can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I I am the only one who sees your picture. So if you don't want your picture to be on the screen, that's absolutely fine. But for you to talk to me, you need to make sure you unmute yourself. Sorry, we are having some, I think, technical issues, let's say. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm okay, thank you. Can you tell us who you are? Uh, my name is Abbas. Okay, and can you speak a little bit louder for me? Um, can you hear me now? Better? Um, I can hear you, but it's not as like loud as it's supposed to be. Okay, um, maybe I need to use headphones. I'll call you back then. Oh, better, better. This is better. 
that was better. okay yeah yeah if you can hear me uh hello everyone um yeah um, okay so we've got so appas we've got appas on the line um we've got jai apologetics and daughter of christ is on the other line um, yes, we are talking about these two chapters of Ubay bin Kaab. What have you got to share with us, Abbas? Yeah, I, I saw you You bring the names up of the chapters of Haft and, uh, uh, Haft and Khal. Uh, I'd just like to ask you, as when we, 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 we want to find out the truth, we need to go to the correct sources as well. What are your sources that says that he had two extra chapters, which call Khal and Haft? Is there a Sahih Hadith? Okay. Um, Jai or Daughter of Christ, do you want to make a comment on that? So Appas is asking the question, mm -hmm. what is our sources, which yeah. we just read it. But what is one of your sources? One of, your, one of your favorite scholars, Siyuti. I didn't see any name. Hafdan Khalz. Siyuti, volume 8, page 695. Your favorite, uh, one of your favorite um, scholars, Abbas, that you love. Do you have access to... Appas, do you have access to YouTube? Are you able to see YouTube screen? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, I'll just put it on the screen so you get to see the reference. No, 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 no that's fine, that's fine. Uh, is that a hadith, a Sufi coding? Is Sufi coding hadith? Sufi is quoting the Mus'hafs of um, the Sahaba. They're talking about their Mus'hafs. Yeah, what's the Mus'haf called? It's in front of you. It's the must have okay the so have. first of all um hold on um I, so i guess um maybe i missed the show where abbas called in and he did his homework and he presented you the two names that you're looking for uh, yes no we, we um, are still waiting for those names but okay, so are we gonna yeah. get them a pass today or are we gonna um what are we gonna no, no. Uh, if you want to talk about it I can, okay, I can let, let's let's first deal with this I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, abbas gonna, okay abbas abbas so, I just want to know just, just if, if the... If... Appas, right you Appas can you please... So, can you please make sure you close speak close to the phone or the mic? Okay, that's the first point. Uh, no worries if you like, you don't want to be seen, that's absolutely fine. I'm the only one who sees you, okay? You are not on the screen. That's the first point. Second point is, I'll just gently encourage you to not over speak to anyone. Um, we will deal, um, Jai, if that's okay, we talk about these two names. We are still waiting um, uh, after we deal with uh, Ubay bin Kaab's yeah, Quran. It's, so, it's no problem to me. I just didn't know if that's what you wanted to deal with. It was just a quick question, not a, not a big deal. So the sources that Asayuti, the, Mus the Musahaf that he's appealing to is the Mus'haf of Ubay 1, Mus'haf mm -hmm. of Ibn Masud, that's a, 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 I'm sorry, Ibn Abbas, it's another one. We have multiple sources, so Esayuti gives us multiple sources. Yeah, that no, no, I won't cite, know the cites, Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Don't get excited. Wait, wait, wait. He gives us multiple references to multiple Musahaf of the Sahaba. And then when we go to Ibn Abi Dawood in Kitab Musahaf, he gives us the same exact codices from people like Ubay, from people like Ibn Abbas, and from Ali as well. We have other sources that speak about these being in his mushaf. Give me the oldest mushaf he quoted, the oldest source, which says that Ubay bin Kaab has two extra surahs, the oldest one, the earliest one. Okay, he's giving it to us. I don't know if you can see the screen. It's right on the screen. He's giving it to us. So this is not This is not the old, I mean, so like, um, why, like why we mentioned are you earlier, of Muslims aren't familiar with this and that's what we expected that Muslims would call in not being familiar with these uh, topics which is fine we hope that you learn about your Quran today so if you look at the screen he gives you the references he doesn't say this is the newest one this is the updated one I mean do you think there are different different versions of their of their codices or what do you what do you think what do you mean by the old one okay uh, do you see my screen uh, no we also have I we also oh, just one moment please we also have people we also have eyewitness accounts people saying that they saw like we have we have this the this we have people saying that they saw for example in ennis's um okay i guess we have something else on the screen here go ahead no go on brother yeah. sister uh, let, let's... no it's uh, it, it's on uh, the this screen, is so... um this is uh one of your screenshots at best of you saying that cut is one of 
uh, the, he draws the criteria for how to accept and reject the hadith. So if you accept him, his criteria for accepting and rejecting the hadith, why are you now trying to not accept his story for the Sahaba? Uh, where did I say Ibn Salah and others draw criteria to accept and reject the hadith? Okay, that, that's fine. Okay, so you accept the suity. You accept the suity for, for the hadith. So why are you not accepting the suity's uh, story for these two surahs? No, no, when we were talking about hadith, we were talking about hadith. What I'm asking you, which hadith says that there are two extra surahs of, of uh, uh, um, okay, Ubay bin Kaab? I need a, I need a hadith. It okay, says that hadith maybe we're not, yeah, yeah, okay, hold, hold on. Maybe we're not making it clear. These are scholars giving us the codices, the musahif of, of the musahif of the companions. Yeah. So it's, it's not Muhammad said this was in their mushaf. No. These are the the codices that they wrote that they compiled, and these were the these were the chapters that were included in their Quran. So for Ubay, for Anas, for um, Ibn uh, for Ibn Abbas, for Abu Musa al, al Ashari, and for Ali as well. So the people attest to these things. Um, there are actually some people that that say they give eye they're giving eyewitness accounts of these that they actually saw the they actually saw the codex with their own eyes. So. Uh, I've got I've got book in uh, Abbas. I've got book on my hand. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. they are talking about in nine hundreds. They are seeing the Quran of Ubay bin Kaab. I'm sorry yeah. that you are not kind of aware of um, that very basic. Yeah. But also yeah. just remember we put up the source. Um, let me put that up again. Uh, where in Sahih Bukhari Hadith, I don't know if you still believe it or not, but according to Sahih Bukhari Hadith. They left Ubay bin Kaab's recitation out. So they are mm -hmm. like Bukhari is telling us um, they left it. Okay, so all three of you speak. Now it's my turn. Let me speak. I ask a very simple question. Which hadith, Sai hadith, says that Ubay bin Kaab has two extra surahs, Haft and Khal? You didn't provide me nothing. Then he says the people who saw it, uh, those the manuscripts, and you show the book as well. In the 9th century, people saw it. There is no companion ever, you can ever quote me, that tells you that they saw different manuscript of uh, different uh, Quran of Ubay bin Kaab. No companion ever said that. And no companion you can ever show me that show that say that Ubay bin Kaab had haft and khal. Now I can educate you as well. You say I didn't read the book, yeah? Okay. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, okay. So hold on. Let's respond. Finished. Let me respond to that. Let me respond to that. Yet. So, so, so let, 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 let's I, okay. Know, let's use that. your standard. Uh, okay, um, Jai. Okay, let, let's use, use his own okay. standard. Hold on, just wait. Let let, me, okay, go ahead. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Yeah, he's going to move on to something else now. I don't want to forget this question. Abbas, Abbas, Abbas. So yeah. there are four people on this on the kind of line. So when kind of people talk over each other, it is difficult to understand what is the case is being made. So you made your first point regarding oh we did not provide you no, reliable I sources. I we did not provide you reliable no, sources. To, I, I let let let's hear from Jai to respond to that no, no, one, no, and then no, we no, pass no, on no, to you okay. for your wrong. second this point. This is wrong. He talked over me. I didn't talk over any one of you. Yeah, so you made the point, me. and you just said you're going to make another no, point. So no, let's respond I, to the first because, point. Don't do a shotgun approach you, where you give a million things. Because all of just, you, all of you, make different points. So I have to address everyone's points. I, okay, you are let's one respond by, to the point one. that you just made. No, 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 let's no, no, respond no, no, to the point that you just made. It is, it is related to it. It is related to it. Now you says there are people who saw it. You're right. People who saw it. Who were those people? Those people came okay, 200. Perfect. Two, one second. I haven't finished it. Please have some manners. Can you mute him, uh, Adam, please? Oh, please. manners. Okay. Let's not. Let's, okay, Abbas. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Let's talk about, let's talk about, let's talk about what. What the evidence? Let's talk about the standard of evidence that you're appealing to. Okay. You're telling us yeah. both. Where's the hadith? You're telling us where's the hadith. So what you're asking us, what you're implying, ja, you are is that there's a hadith. That gives in a, a certain... Okay, Jai, you, okay, Jai, can you hear me now? Yeah, you, you were cut off. So um he's asking for hadith and then you are respond okay. to the hadith is yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so he's implying by his question that there's a hadith 
that outlines the canon of the Quran, meaning that he thinks that there's a hadith that says, this is the mushaf of so-and-so, and here's every single chapter inside that mushaf. So if that's what he's saying is a standard for a canon, then give us any hadith that lists all 114 chapters that you accept and you don't believe there's any less or any more of the Quran. Give us any hadith according to your standard that mentions every single chapter the way you just asked us. Or tells Mira? us Quran contains uh, 114 chapters. He has the uh, name of the yeah. chapters. Yeah. Go on, yeah. Go on up. I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't ask what he say. I didn't say that every chapter should be in the manuscript. I need to see manuscript. I asked a simple question. Show me a hadith by any companion that say there are two surahs called Haft and Khal is, is an Ubay bin Ka's manuscript. Simple question. Those surahs are mentioned by the mouth of any companion. So we gave you Umar who stated that they left the recitation of Ubay bin Kaab out. Okay. We are giving you Islamic sources. Muslims are telling us they have seen the Quran of Ubay bin Kaab and then Ubay bin Kaab has those two chapters in it which other people doesn't have. And then you've got even sources talking about the similar things on um, Ibn Masud's Quran. So I think if you... If you are asking the or which companion of Muhammad said beside Ubay bin Kaab, it will be better if you just produce for us that Muhammad put the stamp for 114 chapters of the Quran, including Fatiha. Okay, Hatun probably uh, definitely failed. A daughter of Christ or Jack? Can you tell uh, me? We've got we've got the names. Unlike you, we've got the names. Suyuti tells us Anas ibn Malik said. These wallahi, he said, wallahi in anzalata illa minas sama by Allah. These two anzalata, these two were sent down from none other than heaven. And your favorite uh companion Abdul Rahman is Sulami in uh Suyuti again, volume 18, page 815, said those same verses. Abu Abdul Rahman is Sulami, who was a companion of Muhammad, said. By Allah, the, the Prophet used to recite those verses and he put them in the Quran. And also they uh, said, Ali ibn Abi Talib said that they were in the Quran. No, hang on a minute. Uh, I didn't see anything. What do you say Anas bin Malik said? What? It's on the screen. What? Okay, it's on, it's it's on, on the yeah. screen. We have, it on, we have it on the screen. I had it on the screen. No, I think the print was so small I just couldn't really read it. Uh, okay, what? if you... If you, okay, sister, so, if you go, so, uh, so Anas says that, that Anas says that. So, what are you going to say to Anas? Is he wrong? No, no, no. Can you, can you put it back? This thing, no, no. What okay, are you going to say to what Anas just said? Yeah, if, if you if you saw now on the screen Anas saying it, what would you say? Or will you will you discount Anas and the Malik as well, or what? No, no, no. If Anas says that, then I will be corrected that Anas uh, says that about uh, okay. okay, Anas says that according okay, to Anas. Okay, so there it is. Okay. There it is. No, no, where's the source? I want to see the source. It's on the bottom of the screen. Maybe if you can move the logo, the screen. Okay, he gets... Guys, guys, just a moment. Guys, just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. So Abbas sees the screen. Sorry, we've got someone on the line. Uh, you are muted, so once we finish this conversation, we will take you in. If you just wait there for a second, that's okay. first point. Second so, point is Abbas get to see screen twenty second after we talk. Okay. Uh, oh. So okay. just okay. Yeah. So, 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 sir, can you can you just um either zoom down or remove the Actually, no, logo because say, it's on the very sorry, bottom. Sorry, sorry, I apologize. Abbas sees the screen because he's on the line. Uh, he doesn't see us on the YouTube. Abbas is if on the line. If you just remove. Remove the DCCR logo, sister, because it's the yeah. last line. On or if you can like scroll down. There we go. Perfect. So that, that part is. right there in, in the black, okay. the bold text at the very bottom of the page. Allah. This is a Sayuti. Hold on, hold on. This is a Sayuti quoting Anas. So what do you think? Hang on. Anas said, by Allah, they were sent down. Uh, why are you reading in the brackets? We're not going to read in the brackets, are we? So Anas because, said, because Allah, they, because uh, I'll tell you why this, uh, uh, our best. Abbas, I'll tell you why there are brackets. Let me give us his translation. Let me give us his translation. When they talk over me, why didn't he tell them not to talk over me? Because you don't know any Arabic. The reason there are brackets because because the plural in Arabic comes in two, the dual form, and it comes in the three. That's why, because you don't know any Arabic, you can't read what's in front of you on the right, which I've put in the rectangle. Because 
in English, there's no difference between plural two and more than two. That's why that says the two in brackets. Uh, you're so ignorant, you don't know Arabic, and now you think, oh, how come you put something in brackets, thinking we're, we're deceiving, when actually it's your lack of knowledge, You are my too friend. emotional for your own good, you know that. Really? I'm not emotional, okay, so, I'm frustrated okay. by your ignorance, my, my friend. That's Calm why down. I'm not Calm frustrated. Is the, is, are it's in front of your okay. face. Okay, it's in front of your face. Okay, guys, just a moment. Just a moment. Calm so, Abbas, like Abbas, just a second. Abbas, just a second. So, right now, we saw uh, kind of, oh, I think we, I think we met with the criteria. We met with the criteria that oh, your, you which you said, which you said, you if we give you Ibn Abbas, you would agree. Uh, sorry, Anas. Um, Anas tells us, yes, they were sent from oh, he didn't. heaven. You can see the awesome. reference again on yes, the Yes, he did. Screen. Yes, he did. Okay. Read, read what it says. Read, read what it says. Okay. He's talking again, about, again, okay, if you read the context, talk, please, the context, hold on, hold on. So, Abbas, Abbas, you asked the question. Okay. You asked the question. You said, why, you said, we don't read between the brackets or you, you said something like that. You asked a question, Dart of Christ answered your question. Then you got mad and said that right. we were interrupting you. No, you asked a question and you paused and we, we there was time. We, we filled in the space and we answered your question. Okay. So what, what Ennis is saying what here, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What Ennis is what saying, what Ennis, you, you were your saying. Question, why that, was there were brackets? We, and I answered the question. I didn't ask you question. I said you said, why are there brackets? No, uh, best read. You said we don't read. Calm you said we don't down, read. Calm down. This is a rhetorical you question. Said, you said read, we don't read. Our best okay. read. Read. This is called line. rhetorical question. I was read reading. the last so line. The question. Read the last line. Appas. Read the last line. Appas, can you read Atun. for us? Appas, can Atun. you read? Us? Can you read for us in Arabic? Atun. What does it Atun. say? And then who is yeah. giving us the reference from the Arabic sources? Arabic sources on on the screen. Tell us okay. who is telling us that these two chapters came from heaven. Okay, hold, hold on. Before he answers, before he answers, he's talking about what's in the Mus'haf of Ibn Abbas, and it's also in Ubay and in Abi, Abu Musa al Ashari. And in that context, then he quotes the, then he quotes it. And then Anna says, by Allah, he's swearing by Allah that these couldn't have come from anywhere other than from heaven. So he's saying that this came from heaven, from Allah. That's the context. So he's not just saying this isolated out of nowhere. The context is this appears where? In Ibn Masud's codex. Uh, uh, um, sorry, Ibn Abbas. I keep saying Ibn Masud. Because uh, uh, Ibn Abbas, Ubay, and, and Abu Musa al-Ashari. So that's the context. What's your answer? Okay, I'm just I'm just reading the source. What's the source? Uh, source is Al Dur Al Mantur. What is that book? Oh my <laughs> goodness! It's a Suyuti's book. You don't now? even know what Suyuti wrote. You don't know yeah, the books the Suyuti wrote. It's probably it's probably not available in his language. Why don't uh, you where he's yeah, read uh, Abes. Abes, read the last line. Abes, read the last line. Abes, Abes, read the last line in Arabic. Anna says, "By Allah." They yeah. Were no, no, in Arabic. Arabic. Read in Arabic. The last line. If you're disputing, if you're disputing daughter's translation, if you're, if you're disputing read us, Arabic, you read it in Arabic and show us, show us then what we are wrong. Got wrong. Go and read it. Well, it's, it, the screen is very small, but I tried. Okay. Wallahu okay. Inna an, uh, an no, read it. No, read it from the beginning. From the beginning. From the blue. Because it's there's a context to it. There's a context. Yeah. Read the read the blue. Well, blue from the top. No, the last line starts from the right. The first, the first word yeah, from the right yeah, in Kala, Arabic is Kala, blue. Kala Anas, yeah, Kala Anas. Kala Anas. What does what does Kala Anas mean? Anas said. Thank you very much. Okay. So what does Anna, What did you? Anas say? Thank you very much. What? Continue. Thank you for translating. Now, what's Thank the rest of the Thank you for translating. Now, continue. Wallahu in anzala. I can't read this very small. Anzala ila man manas sama. Okay, let, let me correct you. It says, Wallahi in anzalata illa minas sama. What does that mean? Yeah. Well, I'm not an Arabist, so I don't know. Okay, so you don't know how to refute us because you can't even read it. I'll tell you what it says. It says, By Allah. Why is he disputing the translation? Why is he disputing the translation? Why are you disputing what we're saying if you can't even read it? 
I was saying the brackets. I don't read the brackets. Bracket is okay. You know why the, the brackets? brackets you know why? Essential. And we told you why the brackets are there because in in the Arabic, the language Adam, that you don't Adam, know, Adam. the plural comes in two Adam. and in more than two. Adam, why don't you tell them? They keep talking over me. What's their problem? So let me let's let, let's just let, let, <laughs> because let's you can't read. Understand yeah. this. Let's just understand this. the illiteracy this. of Muhammad. So, um, uh, translation yes, from Arabic. Literacy. Arabic is on the your screen. Literacy. Arabic is on the screen. So you said you read it in Arabic. Anas said you understood what that Anas was saying that. So now we gave you the sources. So can you please be kind enough and oh, answer the question? What happened? Uh, what, those two sources are didn't end up in the Quran. First of all, this is Suyuti saying is Suyuti is not saying any kind of a chain. Suyuti and Anas were not uh, living in the same time. Uh, Suyuti lived sister, like, put, uh, Suyuti, sister put, put how, my. Why uh, you keep talking over me? Have a glass of water, sister. Please just walk, calm down. Okay, I'll have I'm water, no problem. Uh, sister, sister, share my share my share my screen. So, can do you see? Do you see your? Uh, before you before how you, you attack Suyuti, uh, look why look at the screen. Uh, so so insecure. Why she's not letting you speak? I, you, because uh, you, you <laughs> <secure. before laughs> I tell you why because. A Suyuti, you're disputing a CUT. And you, and you love CUT. Look at your it. own quote for CUT. So, yeah, Appas, you Appas, you expressed your love towards CUT. And then now, May you read, we read from the CUT, which you confirmed that Anas is saying, by Allah, those two surahs came down from heaven. That's in Ubay bin Kaab's Quran. Basic question is, why they are not in today's Quran? And we've got someone is on the line as well. Can you please answer the question? And then we just, um, after that, we will take this um, new caller. Okay, okay. This is what you're putting my comment in the screen. What do you understand of that? I'm meaning it. They made okay. a criteria. They, they made a criteria. Can I ask my question? I have to answer you. When you put something on the screen and ask me a question, this is my criteria. You must understand what I meant. Mm -hmm. I meant is they Yeah, so you asked the question. They were okay, so this, the, this is the problem. You ask questions, and then you get upset when we answer the questions. You say we're interrupting you. Hold on. First of all, before we get to that, do you admit that as Sayuti says Anas bin Malik says that? Yes or no? In in the book of Sayuti, yes, Sayuti says that. Yes, yes. So okay, so Sayuti says that Anas says that. Okay, we agree on this right. now. So now oh, the question right. is: Is a Sayuti a reliable yes. source? Right. That's where we're going now. Suyuti is a reliable source? Is Suyuti it, no, reliable that, or is not? That, is that your question? Is that your question? Is Suyuti reliable no. or not? Because you're saying no. yes, according to according to Suyuti, he says and it says this. So now the question is, is a Suyuti reliable or not, right? No, yep. he's and not according... entirely reliable. He's not entirely reliable. Oh, he was, he was reliable the other time when you uh, quoted him to exactly. us. Exactly. That's, That's the point of your comment. That's the point of your comment. You must understand what I, what I meant. What I meant was, they were the muhaddisin and they make criteria how to accept hadith and how to reject hadith. What hadith we, we, we need in the hadith? We need a strong chain. Uh, we need okay, so you sense. accept that? So you accept their, your, their criteria for hadith, which is much more important than the Sahaba, but you don't accept their criteria for the Sahaba's uh, sayings. Correct? No, but we need to we need to verify with, uh, where he heard that Anas says. But where they're the ones heard? helping us verify. Where, where, because it's very so important is that this hadith. You keep talking over yeah. me. Come okay. on. Let, let me just say. Let me just say. Let me just say that these guys. Look, no one, one disputes. No one disputes. Side, no one. No one makes arguments that Abbas is making right now. Let me make the arguments that Abbas. Why, why, is, why the the arguments. Because, because the arguments that Abbas. This guy keeps I'm talking. Sorry. Same again. Can I make a point? Can I have a two minutes only? Just two yeah, minutes. Because you, yeah, because you because you like you like changing your, the goalposts. You change the goalposts all the time, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You yeah, don't you understand do. my goalposts. That's a problem. Yeah, if, but, if you I'm, rewind, if you I'm, rewind the discussion, you said if Anna said that, then I'm mistaken. If Anna said that, I'm mistaken. That's what you yeah, said. Yeah, and now you're and so not. And now you're not mistaken anymore. And now you're saying, oh, you misunderstood me. You misunderstood me. No, we didn't misunderstand you. Now, now you're getting to the point of being dishonest. That's what's happening now. I ask you for a hadith. This is not hadith. Uh, okay. uh, uh, what do you mean? This is not hadith. What does hadith this mean? Is what does hadith mean? What does hadith mean? Hadith mean. Yeah, what does hadith, hadith mean? Okay, um, guys, we, let me just um, to hadith kind of for us to move forward. For us to move forward, um, Appas, I'm gonna give you two minutes. The two minutes you are asking. In that yeah, two minutes, you. can you be kind enough and then show us the hadith? where Muhammad states that Quran starts from Surah Fatiha, 
when it finishes with Surah Nas, that's the beginning to end. And also, where no, Muhammad, where Muhammad, where Muhammad is simply saying, Ubay bin Kaab's these two surahs, or give us something no, no. discredits what Suiti is saying. So you've got two minutes to it. make I'm going to use my two minutes. I'm going to use my two minutes what I want to say. Don't put on a new question. No, 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 no. no. It's not In your that show. two it's minutes, since you are trying... Since you are trying... This isn't Speaker's Corner. This isn't your show. Hatun's giving no, you a question. You can't say, oh, I'm going to say, you can't say, I'm going to say whatever I want to say in the two minutes. She's asking you a specific question. It's her show. Give her the respect. It's her show. Answer the question. So since your yeah, criteria is regarding the, it is not in the hadith, please provide us that where hadith is canonizing the Quran for 114 um, chapters, 6,236 verses, and then also use that two minutes to make your proper rebuttal. Okay, I, I'm not going to answer this question. That's not the topic. The topic is Ubay bin Kaab Musaf, are they authentic or not? <laughs> See how disrespectful this guy is? He's like, what, manners? Yeah. Ubay, uh, sister, Ubay sister, bin just Kaab. please don't, don't give him, don't let him dominate. Yeah, don't you're running away. Uh, run, why are you running away from uh, from the question, Abbas? I'm not. I'm not. You guys not you are not letting me. You are. You are. You said you're not going to answer it. Do you have any any yes, Islamic yes. sources? Seeing, seeing Do you have any you Islamic you sources? So tells you Quran is 114 chapters. 6,236 verses. Have you got anything that you can show us? So you're running away from my answer, aren't you? Yes, you, you can see, you you can see I am running you away. Yes. You can see right now, I am running, I am out of breath. And you know, I feel I already did you know, five miles. You do so do you have how, Islamic how sources tells you Quran is 114 chapters? That where Muhammad is stating with 6,236 verses, anything else beside that is not acceptable. Have you got any did, sources that you can okay. give us? Did you ask this question before I, when I came to the show? Did you ask this question? That was your criteria. That was your criteria. No, no. You asked for a hadith. Did you ask this question, Hatun? Abbas, you asked it. Abbas. If you would have asked this question, I would have said, I'm not going to answer this question. You did, you Abbas. Would okay, then, then, so, then. I am taking. The, the, so, with the Islamic give, principles. Can we give I'm someone time to answer the question? Silent, just a moment. With the Islamic principles. This was not the question I am taking I that silent as no. There is no any Islamic criteria. Tells us Surah Fatiha to Surah Nas, 114 chapters, 6,236 verses, is what Quran is supposed to be according to Muhammad. Now. We, we move on from that. So, can show. you tell us? Can you tell us what happened to Ubay bin Kaab's Quran? Okay, Ubay bin Kaab. The thing is, the sources you have are at least two hundred years after Ubay bin Kaab. Those but they're good enough for your hadith. Those who well, hello you, hello two minutes. They were good enough. Matter. They were good enough for your hadith minutes. though. The two hundred years old, good enough for your hadith, according to your quote on the screen. Though. Atum, Atum, why are you not telling yeah. me to say? And that's you, not, and that's not true. It's not true. Two hundred years old. Atum, Where did you come up with this number? Two minutes. That means two minutes. Why are they talking in my time? Abbas, start my time. By the time you cry, by the time you, by the time you waste your time crying, well, you should able to provide us answers. So, in in nine hundreds, in nine hundreds, Muslims are seeing copy of the Ubay bin Kaab's Quran and stating there are two chapters and then telling us what is inside it. So what have you got from Muhammad tells us Ubay bin Kaab's, who is the best of the reciters, Ubay bin Kaab's, these two chapters shouldn't be part of the Quran. Okay, can I have my two minutes? Just Without go for it, instead of crying, like just go for it, Abbas. No, because they keep interrupting. Can you not tell? Can you tell them not to interrupt me? Okay, Ab now. Abbas, He's complaining just... about us interrupting when we're not even talking. Okay. It's like this guy okay. just. Uh, what's Kaab, wrong with him? The first, the first people told us that Ubay bin Kaab has 116 chapters in his book. Were uh, Al Nadim, which is the book called Al Faris, and Al Itkan of Al Suyuti. Now these people live well after Ubay bin Kaab. Now the people they are quoting who saw the manuscripts of Ubay bin Kaab are. Al Fadl ibn Shaddan, who lived 260 after Hijra, 260 after Hijra, he saw the Mus'haf of Ubay bin Kaab, and other person, Ibn Ashta, who lived in 360 years after uh, Ubay bin Kaab. Ubay bin Kaab had many students, among them uh, Anas, bin Ma Anas bin Malik and Abdullah bin Abbas, Abu Musa. None of these they ever said that. 
in authentic hadith, none of them that they have to express. He's chances. just making stuff they, up. They, they, He's just they, making they stuff up. The, the, the point here is these the sources you're using are weak sources and not authentic sources. They came 200 years after Ubay bin Ka. Okay. They according were not, to who? They were not according to who? So early according sources, to who? According to who? According to I can give you the sources. Okay, fine. You want a source? No, no. Uh, tell us sources. who says that these are weak sources. Yeah, who says Siyuti is a weak source? And who says that all these companions are, are weak sources? So so they... By the way, what? Can, can I just share something? Can, can I just share something? Oh, hold on. So, so, so Muslim scholars, not Abbas, but actual scholars who acknowledge the historicity of the fact that, for example, in Ubay's, uh, in Ubay's Mus'haf, which is recorded in multiple sources like Ibn Abi Dawood, for example, in Kitab al-Masahif as well, and as well as the one we just read, m many other sources. The, the scholars who actually acknowledge that yes, the, the, these are historically correct, that yes, he did have these two chapters in his codice, or his codex, they don't make the arguments that Abbas is making. What they say, some of them will say, some of them will say that these are just prayers. So they don't dispute that they did or didn't have this in the in the in the codex or not. They just say these are two extra prayers that people added. Some people, some scholars say that these were abrogated chapters, that they're abrogated chapters, and Obai didn't know that they were abrogated, so he kept them in. So the people who actually know this material, not just learning it for the first time like Abbas, don't make the arguments that he's making right now. No one disputes the authenticity or the historicity of these. You, you okay. just throwing. So, you just throwing Abbas, Abbas I think you, you should take this opportunity. You should take this opportunity to just um, what is the phrase? Do a little bit homework, and then call us in no, no, after no, no. your no homework. Uh, I, 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 homework. No, I've got I've got someone who is who has been waiting on I, the line. I will I be meeting you in that meeting time. You do your homework, and then. Um, why when you come, actually, actually, you know, you've got to do a homework. It seems you've got to do your homework. Awesome. If, because with your you criteria, all of you your customs, with, with your criteria, all of your customs comes actually from 250 years later, if you are disputing the uh, timeline. And we told you, so reliable oral tradition, supposed to be so perfect, reliable oral tradition, simply tells us, this is what is happening. So do a little bit homework and then tell us when Anna stated this book, this surahs came from heaven and then we can have healthy conversation. So what I'm going to do is I've got someone on the line. I'll just unmute that person and then we take it from there. Uh, uh, sister, can I just say one, one point before we move on? Okay, Jai. Okay, so so if you wanted this two hundred year thing, first of all, that's a lie. This, he's just making, he's literally just making stuff up on the spot right now. But what's what, what if if that's true 200 years after is 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 you know we can't trust it there's not a single not a <laughs> single manuscript not a single manuscript in the first let's say there's two centuries of the islamic era that conform to the quran that he says that is you know the version of the quran the Hafs version of the quran not a single one in the first two centuries in the islamic era that conform to it so if he's saying that if we don't have something within the first 200 years which is not the case for this material, but if that's true, then he just said that the Hafs version of the Quran is unreliable. Okay, Jai, just the, um, a quick, quick, a quick correction, idea. quick correction, um, until 10th century, still in 10th century, we don't have Quran which is mm -hmm. exactly the same with the Hafs Quran, manuscript side. It's not no, only two no, centuries. He's saying 200, he's yeah. saying 200, no, no, he's saying 200 years, yeah, yeah, so, so I'm so saying within the first two centuries, yeah, yeah. Even giving yeah. So I'm saying months, within the first two doesn't... centuries. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay so, um, Appas, if you can mute yourself, I'll just say hi to the caller. Um, hello. Hello. My um, name is Wesley Lawrence Curry the second. And um, are you Muslim? Are you Christian, sir? I am the man of the earth, whom you are shown prophecy that shall turn Mecca to dust and all Qurans okay. to dust. Okay. So and I are, asked sir, Jesus to sir, give you a healed truth sir, on this day. Sir, sir, hold on a minute. Um, we are talking about uh, Ubay bin Kaab's Quran and two chapters of Ubay bin Kaab's Quran is not in today's Quran. Um, have you got anything on to share with us in that? October 10, in the year 2005, you were okay, all sister, paralyzed in your Okay, so, so what I'm going yeah. to do is, sir, first of all, 
I apologize for keeping you wait, but so far it doesn't look like your intention is to contribute to the discussion we are having. Therefore, I will be gently kicking you out from the chat. So thank you very much for calling in. Okay. Um, okay. Abbas is on the line, but he's kind of muted mic and other things. Um, I'll just move him. Okay. I'll move him from this. No. Okay. See him. Um, Dot of Christ is on the line. And in meantime, we did have someone called in. But um, because the screen was full, so I had to kind of hang up that person. If person wanted to call in, you are very welcome to try again. So, um, Jai, um, would you be kind enough to just summarize um, Appas's rebuttal? I apologize, I cut you off. Would you be kind okay. enough to um, summarize Appas's rebuttal? Um, and then what we are expecting yeah. from him, I think he had a couple of minutes. I'm guessing he, in that couple of minutes, he did his homework. And then we can kind of, <laughs> you never know, brother. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So, in all honesty, I mean, it's a shame for someone like, for someone like him who has a beard and he's, and he's mature and he, like, he's so dishonest the way he operates. So if you have respect for yourself, Abbas, go do the research. Don't just make stuff up on the spot. It's, it's a disgrace. It's a shameful thing what you're doing. What he's saying is that all the sources we're providing don't come until 200 years later. That's what he's saying. And so the standard he's giving is that if it comes 200 years later, then it's not reliable. And if that's the case, then his Quran, the one he holds to be the correct reading, the correct version of the Quran, can't be trusted because we don't have one within the first 200 years of Islamic history. So, um, I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. But, and, and, oh, all the hadith. The hadiths all come, the Bukhari and the and Muslim, all of them come more than 200 years. So uh, that's half your, actually that's 99% of your, all your religion isn't documented until 200 plus years later. That's what makes it a weak religion. So are you going to throw it all away now that the 200 years have lapsed or what or, are you going to do? Yeah, or the basic question will come when you do your prayer. Of what? How do you know what you are going to say in sajda? All those kind of things, they, they are not in the Quran. The very, very basic things of living as a Muslim is not in the Quran. Unless you become Quran only Muslim um, by discrediting everything, but so far I'm not aware of that. If you are discrediting dates, that means you cannot live your life as a Muslim. So we gave you, I'll put that on the screen once again. Um, let me. So we gave you, where is it? Start from here. So we gave you Anas. Okay, and then meantime, Ubay bin, uh, not Ubay bin Kaab, Ali is on the list as well. Ali is expressing those, um, confirming those Ubay bin Kaab's Quran, um, as well as um, people are seeing that in 900s. Um, yeah, so please provide something for us by, and here's also a list where, um, People are kind of talking about um, what they have. Around 738 people are claiming they have seen Ubay bin Kaab's Codex, and they are claiming they have seen these extra chapters as well. So um, if you can, kind enough, right. and then just give us your rebuttal, or if you've done your homework, Abbas. Oh, sorry, sorry, you are muted by my side. I apologize. I thought you muted yourself. Sorry. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear yeah. you now. Sorry about so, that. But that mean, was my fault. I mean, Jay asked me one question, you asked me another question, then you say answer it very quickly. And but in the middle, then suddenly, Daughter of Christ will jump. That's a good trick, isn't it? Not the other person just, to let answer. Just okay, answer the question. I didn't ask a question. I didn't, first of all, I didn't ask a question. I yeah, but when you don't have said. an answer, you start ad hominems. When you don't have an answer and you actually have a chance to speak, you, you just personal attacks. Yeah, we, we know we know your trick as well. I'm guessing he didn't do his homework, uh, sister, so we, let, not you, we never know. Yeah, he's try, he's uh, trying think, to save uh, face. We, we never know. Maybe because he did his homework, are, so let's give him a chance. There, Abbas, there do you have a response? Are, there are many scholars who did say uh, that, if, if I'll quote you one scholar, Al-Mizzi, in his book called Tahdib al-Kamal. What is the well, date for him? Al Mizi, I mean, yeah. he lived. Up, he lived. Um, I don't know his date, but uh, uh, give us the date since dates are important. Yeah. Is he um, before? Before uh, is he around seven hundred, eight hundred? Yeah, he, he better not be two hundred years later. 
No, 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 no. When you say Suyuti says that, uh, no, no, no. Anastasia, give us the give us the date of Al Nizi. When Suyuti give us the date of Al Nizi. This Suyuti gave us the chain that who he heard that Anna says he didn't give us no chain. Yeah. So I'm telling uh, you, one scholar call Al Nizi. What is the date? Al Nizi. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's thirteen hundreds. It's thirteen hundreds. Okay, so the date of Al Nizi. Al Nizi. Is thirteen hundreds. So you are discrediting him. You are discrediting Suite, who is much much earlier than no. Al Muzi, and then you are no, going with Al Muzi. No, 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 Give no. me something, Abbas. No, no. Let me ask my question nicely. Give me something. You didn't let me speak. Give let me, me speak. Let something. Me no, I can. I can see where your point is going. I know I am no, not God, but right now say. I feel where your point is what going. going. Give me say. something from seventh century, eighth century. No, no, no. What I was going to say. Tell me. Give me something from 7th okay. century, 8th century. You, you cut me in the middle because he's, he's going to 14th. You know he's going to 14th say. century. Tell me what 14th I was going to say. Abbas, okay. you said you said you quoted something from the 14th century when you had an objection on 200 years after. No, That's she, our problem. She says she, say she knew what I was going to say. Abbas, Abbas, can you please? Abbas, can you please be kind and then no. give me something? No, 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 no. Give me uh, Abbas says, he doesn't even know who this scholar is and he's quoting him. He didn't know when he lived. He's just uh, quoting Abbas, anyone who, who's, who's, who's in Muzi? Who's in Muzi? Where did he live? Have a talk, civil talk. Everybody talking over me. No, let me speak. What, what who's in Muzi? Who is in Muzi? Who's in Muzi? Where did he live? When did he live? When did he live? Where did he live? Where is he? Who is he? Who is that Yeah, you're quoting? How do this we know what you're you, quoting? This, this is how you follow Christ. I mean, no, no manner. Yeah, okay. Christ loves, no, no, Christ loves like the it. truth. No, he doesn't like deception. Christ so, loves the truth. Um, a passing problem with Al Suyut reference and on us um, and all other names we mentioned. Uh, reason for that is because they are 250 years after the things happened. Um, we we were not produced or we were not given any reference from Muhammad uh, that Quran contains 114 chapters, Surah Fatiha to Surah Nas, with 6,236 verses. There is nothing in the Hadith tells us that. And we were, ex we were waiting reference to just debunk um, Ubay bin Kaab's um, Quran. Um, people in the past, in, in Islamic tradition, people talked about those verses were part of the dua. People didn't turn up and then say, oh, they were not never part of the Ubay bin Kaab's Quran. They were edited all. Oh, it was too late. We cannot believe. That was not the argument in any form or any shape. Exactly. So exactly. therefore, therefore, um, what Abbas did is he went to Al Muzi. He's dated. What did you say, guys? 1300s, did you say? 1340s. Yeah, died. Okay. Century. Uh, of course, my question would be if he's reading from original or he's reading someone's footnote from someone's book. Remember that are those, some of the footnotes yeah. have been in the yeah, past. Yeah, Al Ghamidi, Al Ghamidi, who lies in his books and he's been thrown out of Pakistan. Ah, That's his okay. favorite scholar. He's yeah. actually alive today. So, <laughs> so let me let yes. me just give him um, so one another... more chance. Sorry, Joy. Wait, 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 another point. Some of the people who argued against this the most, like the scholars who argued against this the most fervently, that they re they rejected that these were surahs uh, from from actual authentic surahs. The arguments that they made, like you said, Sister Hatun, they it wasn't that these are unreliable. They all acknowledged that these are actually in Ubay's codex, codex, that they were in, like Ennis accepted them, that uh, that uh, Ibn Abbas accepted them. They they all they accepted those. That what they did what they did was they challenged whether the whether they were considered to be prayers, revelation or dua. Um, revelation or not exactly. Yeah. It, some of them actually did say that it was revelation, like I said earlier. Some yeah. said that it was revelation, but it was abrogated. Yeah, and, and these all, guys didn't get the wrong. memo. They're all wrong, yeah. but Abbas so, is right with his thirteen hundreds. Uh, right. okay. And so these are the ones who actually argue against them. No one makes the arguments that Abbas is making right now. He's going to give us some fourteenth century, you know, whatever. He, look, look, let's hear what he has to say. Okay. So um, Abbas, you all heard what has been said. So I'm going to give you two minutes. Um, can I ask uh, beloved ones, please? Let's give him two minutes to make his case, and then if there is anything we need to respond, we will respond. Okay, now um, the original point was the, the sources are weak sources. We say the Hafs 
and called the uh, surahs there. These people were no eyewitnesses. They lived 200 years after Ubay bin Kaab. And what I was going to quote Al Mizi is not quoting any hadith. I'm not taking any hadith for Al Mizi. What I'm taking is Al Mizi quoting their history. And what did he say in his book? He says, it is strange that none of Ubay's students have reported from him his differently arranged codex having two additional surahs. It had his book called Tahdib al Kamal, volume 2, page 263 to 264. Then there are other sources, like uh, there's a book called Muqaddamatun by Arthur Jeffrey. And he's quoting, uh, he's quoting a Tabi, Tabi by the name of Muhammad ibn Kaab al Qurazi. And what did he say? The Tabi is saying this I saw three Masahib a Mus'haf which contained the reading of Ibn Masood, another which contained the reading of Ubay, and another which contained the reading of Zayd. In none of them did I find anything contradictory to any of the others. Who's saying that? He's a Tabi saying that, and Arthur Jeffrey in his book called Muqaddamatun, page 47, he's quoting that. Now, these are the people, these are, I just quote you Tabi. What Suyuti is saying that, Suyuti is not giving us any chain when Anas says that. So we need to see the chain. Doesn't matter Suyuti say whoever says, we need to see the chain. The answer so where is, where, is one second, so where is the, the dot of Christ just a moment. So when we take hadith, we don't take any hadith, but who says what? We need to see the chain, the strong chain. There is no mudallis in there. There is no mudarraj in there. There is no mursalat in there. If those hadith chain are perfect, goes with the Quran and Sunnah we take, it doesn't matter if we come 300 years after. But Suyuti is not quoting any any chain. And I can give you many other references. Even these al faris of al nadim Al-Suyuti, if you see their list of Ubay ibn Kaab, even their list don't match. I got the whole list here. Okay, okay, okay. okay, 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 no. okay give us the chain. Okay, give okay. us the chain for what you just said. You just you just gave us a citation. Give us a chain for it. Okay. Yeah, so. and you and you quoted someone called Tabai. Tabai is a title. It's not a name of a person. Tabai means success. Yeah, and that's and, and Arthur Jeffrey. Uh, he's a translator. You know what you it's mean. Not his book. Uh, yeah. Where is the chain it's for what so, you're saying? You know, the, the funny thing is. Oh, I didn't he, say Tabi. Said I say he's a Tabi. He is a Tabi. Who is the Tabai? What's his name? Who? Who? I give the who? name Muhammad ibn Kaab al Qurazi. Muhammad ibn Kaab okay, where's the chain? Where's the chain? Where, 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 where is the chain? You said there should be a chain. Where is your chain? No, no, I'm not talking about the chain of the hadith, isn't it? No, no, where is the chain that of the guy who said that he saw no difference between the Musahaf of the Musahaf of, of Ubay and Abi Masood and Ibn Abbas? Where, where is that guy? Where's the chain for that guy? But the guy himself, he's not giving any, he, the guy... Well, where's the chain? But you, you, said, chain. You, where said, chain? you said Suyuti, you said Suyuti had okay. no chain for the history. Uh, okay, guys, where is your chain? Okay, guys, just a moment. Guys, just a moment. Wait, wait. Abbas, you heard the questions. You Right now, think about it and reflect on it. Here's the R2 Jeffrey. Looking, seeing my screen? Yes. Okay. Yeah. See the yeah. underline? See the underline? Look at, look at, look at. Yeah. Okay. I read it. That's Kitab Masahif, right? Just read it. Let me read it. Okay. But we have two extra surahs, al Kal and al Hadid. So the, he's talking about the Ubay bin Kaab's codex. Okay. See? Sorry. Uh, so are you yeah. are you saying that the book the book that the Abbas just quoted us is telling the, us the exact opposite of what he just said? And is page number one hundred fifty. He appeared after Jeffrey. Page one hundred fifteen. Alter Jeffrey. Uh, Alter no, Jeffrey, it, it's a translation of the tab. No, what is the book called, Arthur Jeffrey? It, it, it's the book you are talking about, the English translation. Yeah. Muqaddamatun, yeah? Can you show us your book? Can you show us the book you're reading from? Yeah, show us your book and give us the page. Show us your, show book. Us your book and give us the page. Okay. The Arthur Jeffrey, no, the Arthur Jeffrey my, one. My, I'll just, my, guys, no. just a moment. So while you are reflecting all no, those questions, I'm not, I'm not reading from Arthur Jeffrey's book. I'm reading from other. You, you just book. yeah. So I, I, I'm, Jeffrey, reading, where's, where's I'm reading. I'm reading Arthur Jeffrey. Arthur Jeffrey. He's talking oh. about the old Quranic so codices. Okay. He said Muqaddamatun. Is he, that the he, book so called? page one hundred fifteen. Okay, listen. Um, we have two extra surahs, Surah one hundred fifteen, one hundred sixteen. I'll just give you the numbers. Okay, that, like Surah Al Khal Al. Halt, uh, half, uh, yeah, and then he also is extra kind. I don't want to be mean in this occasion, but he's extra kind. He also identifies the textual variations between them. Okay, so this is the book. He's talking about the old codices. 
Okay, so now. No, they're not. Uh, hang on a minute. So, hang on a minute. I have are you able to? What are you are able you to? Abbas, are, Abbas, you, are you able to produce us the chains which Brother Jai was asking you? I and then also, also you right expressed, now, also you expressed, also you expressed that none of the Ubay bin Kaab's students said that um, he's got these two extra chap, extra surahs. Okay? How can, to, you be, who, can you be extra kind and then tell me who are Ubay bin Kaab's students and where did they say it? Arthur Jeffrey, whatever you show Arthur Jeffrey, who is quoting? Tell me who is quoting. You didn't say who is quoting. You just killed the hand. But you, you just, just gave us. Hand. You just gave us Arthur Jeffrey as a no. good scholar to go to, and no, she gave you, you the primary one of his books, okay. saying so exact opposite of what scared. you're saying. Can we just remove? Don't, can we remove him, sister? Can we just remove him? I know exactly your trick. Tell me. You're being a deceiver. You give us the exact opposite of what you're saying. The people you're quoting give us the exact opposite. One second. What did Arthur Jeffrey quote? Who is quoting? Okay. Okay. Sister, can we just remove him, please? Okay, so what, 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 what is the problem right now is uh, lots of things are problem right now, but um, we express that early sources are telling us Ubay bin Kaab had two, um, two extra chapters and um, sadly we've got like no proper rebuttal to that. Am I correct? Yeah, and it's deception. Right. Uh, he, I mean, quoting, this guy quoting. is so deceptive on, on so many levels. It's just un unbelievable how this guy can sleep at night. This is in so, incredible. Uh, you need to repent. Alas, this yeah, is oh, insane. Honestly. Also, just the for, for the side information, on the side information, if you go to Otto Jeffrey's book, okay, turn page 180 to 181, um, you will see you will see uh, it says in uh um i don't know are you i can't see the screen right now but I, if you i don't know if you are able to see it but anyway this is the no page. you need to read it sister yeah. yeah so i'm gonna read it so he he kind of tells you the variations between the books okay in page 180 he says um he talks about ibn masud's quran and then moves to the last paragraph Ubay, Ubay's codex was known was known to contain two surahs not found in our Uthmanic text. Um, and then he talks about, though there is some dispute as to their position in his codex, in view of the doubts as the accuracy of any of the information that has come down to us, surah order in his codex are not um, this is not important, okay? And then what he does is he tells you Arabic in Arabic, Surah 115, and then Surah 116 in Arabic, and then again tells us those verses are not there, and then explains and then says, which people thought it was because of the abrogation, not because we do not trust those sources, but because of the abrogation Abrogation recognized is no longer included in this Quran. That's what he says. Hmm. So his opinion is not that that they those students didn't trust and all that. No, um, I'm that. just trying correct. To... Yeah, this so is... it's the actual opposite. Okay, it's a good. It's a good thing you've got the books. Sister. And then you've got the Arabic as well. Like he he didn't translate the surah. He just wrote it in Arabic. Um, that's that was the four page 180 181 where he's talking about the early codices um, and then like I, I encourage actually just anyone if you are interested in all the early manuscript stuff textual variations of the Quran just get the book because it tells you which chapters so which chapters and verses are different in which Qurans for example the page I just turned on tells me surah 3 um, this two, three to two is different in Ibn Masud's reading, and then it tells you how was it, it in Ibn Masud's reading. So you've got all those, like, even there are some Qurans that like we don't have today. For example, Ibn Qayyis' Quran, Abu Imran's Quran, which we don't have the physical copy yet. Uh, he's telling us the textual variations between them. So if you remember, this is supposed to be dot by dot, letter by letter is being preserved, yet 
um, people are actually telling us, no, even the early Qurans were not preserved. Here's some of the textual variations. And then, of course, um, in 900s, which we express that people have seen the physical copy of Ubay bin Kaab. Um, okay. Um, Perfect oral tradition can't, can't last 200 years, sister, apparently, or more than that. Well, then you, you have to ask Muslims, how do they how do they do their gusul? If they can, if can, they cannot trust oral tradition, and Brother Jai made important point in like we don't let's make sure we don't forget the current Quran they are reading. When we look at first couple of cent first couple of hundred years, we do not see exactly the same Quran. Um, for the half Quran, I'm just talking for the half Quran in any of the manuscripts. So those are just like helpful if people are disputing the dates of uh, things or they are saying, oh, I cannot trust that it is 250 years after um, after all those kind of things. So can I bring our attention to the um, slides and then uh, uh, we continue from Anas? Yes, because there will be more companions actually confirming these uh, these areas and these Sura system. Okay, let's put, I'll put that on the screen. Um, this is Anas. Um, let's move to the next one. So Arabic is next to it. If anyone like, kind of wants to challenge the English translation, please do so. But if you are going to do that, make sure you know Arabic so you are challenging. Like don't kind of do what just recently happened in this live stream. So Arabic is on the side, English is on the other side. So um, Yeah, you can't, you can't really dispute a language if you don't know it like you look silly and then we have to teach you arabic which is we don't have time for that but bring your sheikhs who can actually read it okay it will save us a lot all some time uh so this is uh dur al-mansur by suyuti uh volume 15 page 814 and uh, the box that uh in the red box that i've got here sister yeah uh we got the chain <laughs> muhammad ibn nasr from yazid from Abi Habib, he said, uh, Abdul Aziz ibn Marawan, sister, that he uh, he was the brother of the caliph at the time. Uh, he sent to Abdullah ibn Zurair al Ghafiqi, he said to him, By Allah, I see you are averse. I do not see you reading the Quran. He said, Yes, by Allah, I read the Quran, and I read of it what you do not read of it. So Abdul Aziz said to him, And what is it that I do not read of the Quran? He said, Al Qunut. Ali, Ali ibn Abi Talib told me it is from the Quran. And where is it in the Quran? It's not in the Quran today, sister. So uh, the verses of Al Qunut is are uh, the verses of those two surahs that we talked about. That uh, my brother Jai correctly said that some scholar that the scholars were saying, uh, the Sahaba were saying, is it abrogated? Is it not? They changed it. They they decided that they shouldn't put it. In the Quran and just keep it as a dua, as a supplication. And uh, it's those verses that we mentioned, sister. Okay. And this is the brother of the caliph. This is not no 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 normal guy in the street. Okay. The brother. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we've got someone on the line. Let's let's just take the caller. Hello. Sir or ma'am, can you hear me? Okay, can you call us when you are ready to talk? Thank you. Sorry, sister. Um, oh, sorry, sister. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, yeah. So that's what that's according according to us. That's according to CUT. Uh, like we saw from the screenshot, uh, he's one of the great classical scholars. I agree with our best on that one. And he, we've got the chain here. Um, of the story of the brother of the caliph having a different Quran from this person he was speaking to, um, the person called Abdullah ibn Zurair. And the verses that he had is the verses that Ali ibn Abi Talib had, remember? And Anas from the previous slide said that those were definitely from heaven. Okay. Um, 
good. We've got the chain now, but I'm not sure if that's going to meet with the satisfaction. Um, Jai, anything you would like to add, brother? Jai, anything you would like to add? I think he left us. He will be fired, I think. Let's move to the next. <laughs> Let's okay, move to no the problem. next slide. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so the next slide, that's the, the same page, sister, going into the next page. Yeah. So it's saying here, uh, Muhammad, it, so we've got another chain. Muhammad ibn Nasr ibn Ata ibn Sa'ib. He said, Abu Abdurrahman is Sulami, one of Abbas's favorite people in his chains of things. He said he used to recite to us, Oh Allah, we seek help and forgiveness from you. We praise you with goodness. We do not disbelieve in you. We disown and leave whoever rejects you. These verses, sister, like the, the two surahs that we talked about yeah. to the end. And Abu Abdul Rahman claimed that Ibn Mas'ud used to recite it to them. And he claims that the messenger of Allah used to recite it to them. And they're not in the Quran today. Okay. So, uh, actually, sister, Suyuti's got a whole chapter of these two surahs, what happened to them, who believed that they were in the Qur'an, who didn't. So, the people who believe that they were in the Qur'an is Abu Abdul Rahman Sulami, according to Suyuti here, Ali ibn Abi Talib, Muhammad's cousin, uh, Anas ibn Malik, Muhammad's servant, and Muhammad himself used to recite it to them. Okay, I can see, actually, Abbas is still, oh no, Abbas is not here, sorry, I thought Abbas was on the still. Yeah, I saw him for a short time. I think okay. he was listen, listening. Okay. Um, so what happened to those surahs? I don't know. Maybe Brother Jai knows. Do you know, sister? I'd love but, to know. <laughs> so there are kind of discussions on they were abrogated. Sorry. They were abrogated. Um, and then there is another argument regarding actually they were not um, revelation, but they were duas. They were like prayer. Um, and then miracle happened since they left Ubay bin Kab's recitations, um, which he was like one of the best. They they left his recitations. Therefore, they went with Zaid bin Tabit's um, Quran. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Can you tell us who you are? Uh, no, fine. Sir, who are you? Uh, my name is Adam. Sir, are you Muslim? <laughs> okay, can you, call, can you call in when you pull yourself together? Okay. Um, so those are the lovely... Muslims from Speakers Corner, you know, the ones who are talking about my daughter and the ones who are like, you have a daughter? Paid. Oh, you didn't know? I, I, didn't had, know. A, I had a daughter with, with, who is Muslim. Uh, well, if you, uh, if you listen to them, sister, like according to them, you've been married like 10 million times. You have all, you're, like, you're like 100 years old at least. I am helping them to make money. That's good. That's good. Uh, I'm not only helping them to make money, but also I'm helping them to give up Islam. Um, okay. So, uh, Brother Joy, are you there? I think he needed to go, sister. I just had a message. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Oh, he's he's still on the screen. Oh, he, he uh, forgot to hang needed, up. Okay. I think he needed to step out. God bless you, brother. Thank you for your... Um, Okay. Exp exposing the untruths that we just heard, sister. It's just terrible, yeah. Hattie. Yes, thank you. He's so patient, though. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Jai. So we will... I'll kick him out. Okay. We kicked him, kick him out officially now. Okay, so... Um, let me... Let me... Let me let's just go back to basics, basics, basics. We kind of figured out what happened. Um what happened to Sura? Okay. Um, he's also, I did put on the screen, but I didn't mention what this was all about. Um, this is um, kind of, if you see the um, place where it says textual sources. So, um, 
they just wrote it down for us where you can go and have, kind of simply find the uh, find the people who are talking about this and then if you look at the dates you can all see them as well so where this surah 115 and 116 is being mentioned um i guess we end up um if i understood correctly we are in place now still asking the question we asked at the beginning what happened to Ubay bin Kaab's two surahs, or what happened to two surahs Muhammad claimed to receive, as well as um, individuals expressed they were revealed from Allah, and in somehow people saw that in 900s, uh, in the physical copies of the Qurans, but something happened, and 21st century we did not get to see those Qurans, those verses. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened to them, sister. Um, why Muslims would have two surahs out of nowhere that they call surahs and they have names and they have them in their mushafs and and then poof, disappear, you know? Uh, I think, sister, you mentioned Bukhari. He talked about how Ubay ibn Kaab's, some of the um, surahs in his mushaf were not included. Some of the verses in his mushaf were discounted, left. And this was um, confirmed by later scholars who, scholars of Islamic history like Suyuti and we got Kitab al-Masahif by Ibn Dawood as well, that's third century Hijri, talking about these missing surahs and uh, scholars of Islam trying to work out why those surahs were missing. Um, I just noticed, I noticed, um, Sorry, I'm just going to get rid of this for just a second. Sister just moved up. Okay, person hanged up anyway. So I noticed um, as I was talking about um, Walter Jeffrey in his book, his book, so I've got the slide actually in here where he tells us, <laughs> um, as you can see, this is Surah 115 um, and then 116. So are, can you read this? Yeah. Are you able to read it? So we make sure like it is the same Surah. Yeah, it says Surah Al Khala. Uh, it says in the Arabic, um, Allahumma inna nastainuka wa nastaghfiruk wa nusni alayka wa la nakfuruk, nakhla wa natruku man yafjuruk. Basically saying, Allah, we seek help from you and forgiveness from you. Uh, we praise you, we do not disbelieve in you, and we disown and leave whoever uh, disbelieves in you. So that's Surah Al Khala. Uh, so if you if you see um, kind of at the end his reasoning that they are not in the Quran is because of the abrogation. Oh, not because no some students were law were were unreliable or uh, in the cab, you know that crazy reasoning that I never heard, sister. Um, yeah, he had good students. He had good students. They just said, well, they should uh, have been good students. Good, they should have been good students, sister. Remember, the oral tradition is perfect. Um, anyway, so um, options have been throughout Islamic traditions are uh, while one side said no, they're supposed to be part of the Quran, which it was part of the Ubay bin Kaab's Quran. And remember, even Yasir Qadi expressed in the past, Ubay bin Kaab is not someone like you just picked on the street. Uh, he is like one of the best recitation, recita one of the best companions of Muhammad when it comes to the recitation of the Quran, who even had a doubt. And with that, um, uh, Muhammad kind of, uh, he's the guy like Muhammad hit from the chest when he had doubt, the doubts which he didn't even had in the time of Jahaliya. Um, so where Islamic tradition tells us take the Quran from him. Uh, but people didn't take it. So tradition kind of gives us two views. One of them is it's abrogated. Mm -hmm. um, other one is just, it's gone. Yep. Yep. Um... I can't believe Abbas is still fighting in the chat. It's saying it's called Qunut. Yes, we just we, we just, just read, read it, it to you. <laughs> we just read it to you when 
uh, the guy said about Abdul Aziz ibn Marwan, he's saying, what is it that I'm not reading from the Quran? Someone said to him, al qunut They called it that. And then he said to him, Ali ibn Abi Talib told me it was from the Quran. Suyuti Dur al-Mansur, volume 15, page 814. So it doesn't matter what it's called. People thought it was from the Quran, including Ali ibn Abi Talib and so, Anas. But the problem is like their kind of idea is they are prayer. Okay, they are dua. Yeah, uh, yeah, dua. Then, yeah, then you ask the question. Actually, same thing was for Surah 1. Surah 1 is a dua. It's a mm. prayer. Why it is in the Quran as a part of revelation? In the coming live streams, we will be talking about Bismillah. Is it part of revelation or how did it end up in the Quran? You've got like those serious questions. How you end up having 114 chapters with 6,236 verses with, according to your earlier sources, full of textual variations within them. Like just. I thought the, the main reason the Quran is a miracle is because people can tell what the Quran is so different from normal people's speech. How can it be that the companions thought that the dua is part of the Quran? Dua is meant to be the, the words of a human being, sister, supplication. Like yes. if I say, oh, Allah help me do this, do that. That's my words. But people thought it was Quran. Yeah, so you've got like, you've got in-house discussions. Remember Ibn Masud's Quran was 111 chapters. So he didn't have... Um, Three, chap three chapters, which is in the current Quran, Surah 1, yeah. Surah 113, 114. Last yeah. two is identified as Dua again. Um, yeah. Surah Fatiha is Dua, um, but in somehow some people thought that was part of the revelation, yet others thought that wasn't part of revelation. So you're saying that the companions of Muhammad who heard it from his, ma his mouth were not sure yeah. which part is quran and which part isn't yeah yeah and then you've got like remember um you've got um islamic sources where um person let me find that actually person says oh i remember this but i don't know if it's part of the quran let me oh, oh there are lots of slides let me just try to find that um while i try to find that um is there anything in the chat needs our attention beside like crying who cannot make any arguments on anything uh people are saying uh, oh we're not at their level but they're refusing to come to the okay. stream system uh, no that, that's fine like um, I'm not expert on uh, anything I'm just like asking questions and hopefully someone will be able to um, answer my questions in a way I can be satisfied with the answer um, here it's not even like discussing the chapters but even today's Qurans have footnotes simply tells us, simply tells us Ubay bin Kaab's Quran was different even in certain chapters. So it's uh, um, certain verses. Uh, like, I don't think we are kind of asking to be, what is the phrase for that? Um, so what was it, sister? What was it that you had on the screen now? That was Surah 33, verse 6. Um, Yusuf Ali's footnote tells us Ubay bin Kaab's Quran was different when it comes to Surah 30, um, 33, verse 6. And then um, if you remember Surah 9, verse 128 and 129, um, we've got Islamic sources simply says, actually, let me put this on the screen because it's Ubay Kaab is testifying this in this occasion. So, Ubay bin Kaab said the Prophet recited Surah 128, 129, Surah 9, verse 128 and 129. So they took it as reliable and then put it in the Quran. Mm -hmm. But what happened to his two, two chapters? What happened to his two chapters? He did he become not reliable at that stage? I never thought, sister, I'd see the day. And Abbas throws Suyuti under the bus. That was one of his favorite classical scholars, sister. It's it's hard life, sister. It's hard life. Like how much more are you going to throw under the bus? Even Bukhari was thrown under the bus because it's more than 200 years after Muhammad. By that criteria. Then what do you have left? Uh, also remember, guys, Bukhari also said that uh, uh, some of the... Uh, Verses from Obey's Quran were left 
the companion is actually saying we left it out. Yeah. Bukhari. So if you're going to throw Bukhari, if you're going to say that never happened, then you're going to throw Bukhari under the bus, then you don't have a religion. Bukhari gives you your religion, what Muhammad said and did. And without Muhammad, you don't have Islam because Allah says in the Quran, you have to obey Muhammad. So what are you going to do? It's like a little, um, it's like a checkmate on a on a chessboard. Wherever you go, it's like no nowhere to go. <laughs> You're stuck everywhere. Yeah, I'm um I'm listening to you as well, but also I'm trying to find the hadith where um it states like oh we don't know if that was part of the Quran. It's really sad, sister. It's this um, and remember, sister. Also, I remember the the famous interview with uh. Mimi Hijab and holds in the narrative Sheikh Yasser Qadi. Who did he quote? Ubay ibn Kaab. And what happened to him? He had doubt in his heart. He had to be slapped by Muhammad on the chest. Because he had the doubt whether the Quran was real or not. Yeah, he's the reference. They don't even know if it was part of the Quran. So let's read this. Sahih Bukhari 8. Uh, book 8, volume 76, number 445. Ibn Abbas said, I do not know whether this saying was quoted from the Quran or not. Atta said, I heard Ibn Zubayr saying this. Uh, he was on the pub. I can't read that last last line because your picture is on it, sister. Oh, sorry. Yeah, saying this narration while he was on the pulpit. Yeah, so the... So does that mean the Quran is not mutawatir, sister? Because remember what Muslims say, mutawatir is everybody knew, huge numbers knew what it is, and then they gave it to the huge numbers of the successes that came after them, and, and etc., etc. So they didn't know. So how did they know what to transmit? I don't know, sister. For me, like this is all magical and different accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's just different accents, but it's the same book. Okay. <laughs> word for word, letter for letter. Word for word, letter for letter. Not know. We don't know what's in it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so um, I guess the basic question we ask at the beginning of the live stream: What happened to those surahs? If you can't even take Ubay bin Kaab's chapters, how can you trust the current Quran, which as it is? Um, so the sister, the conclusion is uh, the narrative, the standard narrative has holes in it. That's what I'm going to say. The best yeah. quote ever and the most truthful. I think Muslims ought to believe him. I think he was right, sister. He was right. Um, like there is a way, like as you kind of study your religion, you get to, you, you are in the privilege of uh, reading sources and um, Sheikh Yasser Qadi is privileged to be able to read Islamic sources, um, Arabic sources stuff. So as mm. he reads, he kind of, okay, how do we reconcile those things? How do we reconcile? The, um, mm. We can't reconcile. There is a red line we cannot cross. Let's leave it as it is. Instead of uh, certain people who are fighting their way to, okay, we've got to reconcile. How do we reconcile? It is 250 years later, we cannot trust it. Or, or someone else came and then said this, he's, he's got these students who, um, who disagreed with him, all those kind of things. All that like- Yeah, but you can't, but you can't say 200 years later, we can't trust that and then quote something from the 1300s. It's like, you're trying to, are you trying or, to give me a heart attack? <laughs> or, or follow a book, which is like, comes much, much later than Muhammad. It's, yeah, uh, those are the things that like, they need to work their self out. But hopefully, while there is check Google, um, check internet, and all those books are like in PDF form as well. People could simply just read them and then make make sense of it. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, I did ask this question on Sunday, but I didn't get any answer. Um, all I answer I got was. Um, I follow half Quran and it is not in half Quran. But you don't know where half Quran comes from, though. Someone could have just written it fifty years ago. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you need to, you need, we need to, you need to know where your book comes from. Someone must have, someone might have just taken you for a ride, fooled you, and written it, which is 
not not far from what happened, sister. It's uh, 19, what was it, the nine, the last colonization in the 1920s? Um, uh, eight, 1985, um, when it is officialized oh. for the world. 1924, when it is officialized for Al-Azhar. Yeah. So very soon we will have 100th birthday for the Quran. Uh -huh. Oh, the Quran yeah. is... Yeah, 2024. Yeah. It, the, the, the 1980, uh, the, the 19, yeah, the 1985, oh, I think a lot of us are older than this, but the 1920s one. Not a lot, a lot of us, sister, don't think Most of us. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Not you, Hattie. You're younger than the Quran, <laughs> but uh, 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 my, gra yeah. my grandma's older than the 1920 version, sister. Yeah, so 1924 Quran will be celebrating its ten, uh, hundred birthday very soon um 1984 which is like officialized 185 which is officialized for the world hmm, it's changing now but anyway so all we were trying to kind of ask the question of regarding the early uh, islamic sources and what the companions of muhammad muhammad your sahaba is had in their qurans that was the basic question we are trying to ask Hopefully, uh, we will have people who will be able to answer who are not camera shy or anything with proper respond. Um, Bira, would you like to kind of summarize and conclude? Yeah, so um, we have lots of Muslims in the chat that are saying, you have no knowledge, but they're too shy to come join us and teach us. Guys, we can be corrected. Come join, don't be shy. The, the fact that you're too shy to join it's because you don't have answers and you know it. So, yeah, there can't be a man in the chat and a, a little mouse uh, when it comes to joining the stream. But anyway, sister, don't what we... Mouse. <laughs> I won't insult the mouse. Come teach us, man. I'm teachable. Uh, so anyway, so we what we saw, sister, today were sources from Islam of these two mysterious surahs, sister, that are not in the Quran today. And apparently they were made up by Muslims themselves because we had our best come and try and throw everybody under the bus. So oh, it's not this and that. But uh, sister, they do appear in Ubayd ibn Kaab's Quran. And um, Ubayd ibn Kaab is one of the four people that Muhammad said, take your Quran from. It was Ubayd ibn Kaab, uh, Ibn Mas'ud, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. You got uh, Salim, uh, the slave of Abu Hudayfa and Mu'ad ibn Kaab. Those four people is what Muhammad said, take your Qur'an from. But sister, all the Qur'ans are different. Ubayb ibn Kaab had two extra surahs, surat al and they had names, Surat al-Hafad and Surat al-Khala, Surah 115-116. Ibn Mas'ud had missing surahs, sister. And um, the you quoted uh, Bukhari hadith where it said that the companions said, we don't have some, we've left some of what's in Ubayb's Qur'an. We've got Suyuti's book, Ad-Dur al-Mansur, volume 8, page 695, the online version, talking about these two surahs, giving us the chains of people talking about the ayahs that are in these surahs, uh, you know, the verses, um, and the two whole surahs. We've got Anas uh, ibn Kaab, uh, Muhammad's servant. He said, by Allah, they are from heaven. They are from the Quran. You've got um, Ali ibn Abi Talib, Muhammad's uh, cousin. He read and, it as from the Quran. Law. Sorry? And son-in-law. And son-in-law. So he was, yeah, he was the... And the fourth uh, caliph. <laughs> he's the fourth caliph, husband of Fatima, his, <laughs> yeah. uh, Muhammad's daughter, and his own cousin. He's, he read it as from the Quran. He didn't read it as du'a. He read it as revelation, Quran. That's according to Siyuti's Dur al-Mansur, volume 15, page 814. And um, now these these verses, sister Muslims have taken out of the Quran and they put it in a dua called Qunut. And they say hey, it's only a dua, it's not from the Quran. But the early companions thought it was Quran. So what happened to it? Um, what's the answer? We don't know. We heard Muslims trying to say the sources are too late, but then they're trying to quote sources that are even hundreds of years later. Um, they said 200 years is too late, but 200 years and after is where you get all your hadiths, Bukhari and all your Sahih hadiths come 200 years later. So what are you going to do? We don't have manuscripts from those early 200, the two before 200 years about the Quran at all. Zero. Hafs, yeah. The Hafs Quran that we have today. 
So where are you going to go? Where is this word for word, letter for letter, vowel sound for vowel sound? Even even sister, the Jeffrey book that you had, even they had variations. <laughs> even those two missing surahs had variations. Yeah, so um, right? um, yeah, that book is comparing early um, codices um, and how they are different from one another. That's the purpose of that book. Um, anyway, so uh, these are the kind of live streams we want to give opportunities to, opportunities to Muslims, especially those ones like apparently um, who cannot come to Speakers Corner yet uh, they are so brave to send certain type of emails or Skype messages. Um, in this, in, intention is just giving you platform so that you can come and expose us um, if you are misrepresenting. As daughter of Christ said, um, we are not expert on anything. We are simply asking simple questions for simple ideology. So, uh, and our simple question was today, what happened to these two chapters which Muslims claim to, uh, these two chapters Muslims claim to receive it from Muhammad as the word of Allah, but it is not in your Qur'ans today. That's all we are asking. Um, so hopefully you will have more opportunity to kind of do your homework, come up with proper rebuttal, and then we can, I don't know, kind of find the ways to close those holes of the Qur'an. Um, and we will have, um, we will have another live stream tomorrow evening, and then we will have, pick up this topic of the, how the textual variations between the Qur'ans are affecting, um, Islamic schools, uh, within themselves on Wednesday evening. Uh, I think that's it. That's what we are doing and enjoying Christ, of course, this week. Yes, yes. Oh, and tomorrow we're having a comments and questions, correct? Yes, uh, yeah, another open open kind of, um, not open mic, we don't have Skype now, um, for people to call in and then we will kind of let you to have your sayings. Um, as I said, main purpose was for those individuals who are sending very, very not acceptable emails, it was giving you platform to come and make your rebuttals regarding the perfect preservation of the Quran. And it's always good to go back to Islamic sources and then see how Muslims are telling us they uh, butchered um, their own sources. Um, yeah, holds in the narrative. And of course, which thank you to Brother Jai who left us in the middle of the live stream. <laughs> uh, which, which thank you to Brother Jai for helping us to um, bring this up again and think through of the perfect preservation of the Quran. Um, beloved, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Thank and uh, by God's grace, I will see you tomorrow. And thank you very much everyone who joined us in the chat and who kind of chat is moving. So who made the comments, all those kind of things, we will probably keep eye on them better tomorrow. Uh, may Christ crucified silent with his love beloved ones and dear Muslims there are holes in the narrative give Islam up and turn to Lord Jesus Christ God bless you all